light welterweight category and this fight will feature the world champion Cliff Thomas the challenger is Curtis Bush and here with the introductions is our ring announcer Larry Black ladies and gentlemen a five round bout in the light welterweight division introducing first in the red corner from Virginia Beach Virginia 23 years old stands six feet even and weighed in at 147 pounds his contact karate record 20 wins three losses 14 wins by knockout a warm Atlanta welcome for Curtis Bush Curtis Bush and in the blue corner from El Paso Texas he is 28 years old 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighed in at 144 pounds his contact karate record is 30 wins four losses with 17 wins by knockout he is the PKA lightweight champion of the world welcome from El Paso Cliff Magic Thomas our referee is Bill Clark Guys, I want this to be a real clean fight. Say break, keep your hands up, protect yourself, but stop punching and kicking. If you hold each other, I'll penalize you. Do not clinch or hold each other, otherwise I'll let you fight. Brother, understand? Keep your head up, so don't hit each other with your head. Step back, we'll bow. Both men are decked out in black. There's Curtis Bush, very rangy fellow. The record of 20 and three, that's pretty impressive coming up against Cliff Thomas. At 5'11", 144 pounds. And we're underway with round number one. You know, Thomas has historically been a very slow starting fighter. And in a five-round fight, doesn't give you any time to be slow. He's going to have to come right out and go right after Curtis Bush. Spinning sidekick did score on the midsection of Bush. And Bush comes right back, throws a few kicks and punches of his own. You get the feeling Bush is aware that Thomas is a slow starter here, don't you? Well, Bush has that reputation. He's a guy that just keeps coming, works hard all the time. And he has Cliff Thomas in a bit of trouble right yeah, now. Yeah, that right hand scored on the head of Thomas. Thomas just keeps his head down, though, and keeps coming at you. If there's any rap on Cliff Thomas, other than the fact that he does start slow, is that he absorbs an awful lot of his opponent's punches. He tends to stand there and let the guys hit him. I think he always feels like if they can't hurt him, he'll just let them wear out. Thomas has defended his title seven times. Beat Gary Garner just a few months back. Bush, too, has got to be a, a more difficult opponent, John, because of his size. He's very tall. He's, I think, six feet tall or something like that. Cliff Thomas is tall. He's 5'11", so he's not giving up a, a lot of reach, but he's probably not used to fighting guys that are taller than him. You don't normally see guys that are six foot plus that like to infight like Bush apparently does, at least here in the first round. Neither men using much of the ring here in the opening round as we come down to the end of round number one. Not a lot of pizzazz in the second round. Scheduled for five, light welterweights, Cliff Thomas and Curtis Bush. As we mentioned in the first round, neither fighter using a great deal of the ring, though Thomas appears to be a bit more active here at the start of the second round. From a right round kick to a left round kick. He used two of them in succession there. Thomas does this now. He comes in and leans in on people who kind of just wades through their stuff, gets in close, and then tries to land the real left bomb and follow it with a left round kick. Well, certainly Bush is there to absorb that kind of punishment because he's right there with Thomas toe to toe and landing lefts and rights right now. They don't seem to be hurting Thomas at all, but certainly 
it is Bush that's throwing all the leather right here. Thomas is getting hit with everything Bush is throwing right now. He does seem unabated, though, doesn't he? Doesn't seem like it's made any, any impression on him. Just can't do that, though, fight after fight. Just can't keep taking that kind of pounding. Oh, a good left hand from Bush. It all looks good, but Thomas is always standing there and always countering with punches of his own. Well, Thomas is measuring Bush right now, and he's, I think, figuring that Bush has got to be a little tired after throwing all those punches. And he's just trying to set up the left hand. That's the way he fights. So the strategy here is no surprise. Just like I've seen him in the last two or three fights he's had. He takes a lot and wades in there and tosses one of those monster bombs. There you see Curtis Bush from Virginia Beach and Cliff Thomas out of El Paso. El Paso, Texas is uh, quickly becoming another one of those re real popular spots in the PKA circuit, isn't it? Well, Hillary Sandoval has done just a, a great job down there in El Paso developing the sport in that area. Uh, there's a lot of rabid fans down there. They love Cliff Thomas, and they really do support all the events that they put together. This is sort of classic Cliff Thomas, getting the ropes and let the other guy hit you until he gets tired and then try to do something. But uh, he's really just standing there and Bush is teeing off. There's a good short left hand that snapped Thomas' head around. He can't take those kind of shots round after round, especially when he's only got five rounds to get the job done. Third round is underway, scheduled for five. The world champion in the light world away category. Cliff Thomas right now on the receiving end of a number of punches from Curtis Bush. How do you have it scored at this point, Jack? I have Curtis Bush ahead, 30, or excuse me, 2018 after only two rounds. I gave him both the first and second round just on points. Cliff Thomas took way too much. Oh, a good right front kick from Thomas. Move Bush back a little bit. You can hear the foot pad right there on the chin of Curtis Bush. Thomas hit Bush hard and had him in a little bit of trouble. Best, uh, best little flash of the champion that we've seen so far. The way this bout has progressed, you'd have to wonder when we'd have a headbutt situation because the two of them just have locked horns and are wailing away most of the time. They are just putting each other's heads on the shoulders there and going to it. When Thomas throws a punch, it's to knock you out. When Bush throws a punch, it's to score points, at least at this point. He waved a couple of times there with kicks, both of which missed. Thomas is just so strong, he's so powerful. A lot of guys do underestimate. They get in there and they get the feeling pretty comfortable with him, sort of like Gary Garner gave him the And all of a sudden he explodes on him. You hate to make the comparison, but it's sort of the uh, rope a dope theory, isn't it? That he uses. He seems to be doing that right now. You know, Thomas did take this fight on short notice. He may not be in the very best of shape. At 144 pounds, he's a good four pounds over his normal fighting weight. We're nearing the end of round three. Round four, scheduled for five. Cliff Thomas, the champion, non-title bout against Curtis Bush. And Bush has been scoring points, and perhaps Thomas has been saving up for the next couple of rounds. Spinning back kick missed. And then Thomas took advantage, scoring with a right hand of his own. Neither fighter's been stunned, though. Neither fighter has really been hammered by the other. Keep a close eye on both these fighters, because both these men may be in Jerry Triple's future. Oh, a good left hand by Thomas. That backed up Curtis Bush. 
That was a good solid combination by Jeff Thomas there. Definitely got Bush's attention. Well, now suddenly Bush is backing up and Thomas is coming forward. Just as you called it, John. In round four, we see a much more active Cliff Thomas. There's something you're going to see often. Uh, Cliff Thomas has reached around from his own backside and whacked <laughs> Bush in the face from the behind there. That's, that's strange. I don't know what you call that. Behind the back punch. Wonder if we can do that at a pool table. <laughs> you see the time remaining now in the fourth round. Thomas calling upon some of his reserves and taking a bout on short notice. Curtis Bush is trying to make good use of that, uh, the opportunity afforded him. Move up in the ratings. One more round is left here in Atlanta between these light welder weights. Curtis Bush has been looking for a shot at Jerry Trimble for a couple of years. Jerry Trimble, of course, is going to stop the ladder. In the corner of Curtis Bush is George Kelly. What would he be telling his man right now? I would tell him, look, you've got to finish strong. Uh, Thomas has come back good in the last two rounds. And I think that uh, Bush is going to have to make a strong finish to convince these judges that he should upset the champion. Keep your hands up. Do not bend over. Yeah. Keep your Bending hands over. up. Stand back and throw Keep your hands up. Right up. Just throwing them all right left. Just throwing them all right left. Stay up. We'll see Cliff Thomas just kind of take his left hand. Whoop. Right from the <laughs> <laughs> right behind. Right by the side of Bush's head. That's neat. I like that. We'll see if we get any more trick punches here in the fifth round for Thomas. You heard the corner of Curtis Bush tell him, keep some distance between you and Thomas. You have to anticipate Thomas will throw some bombs here. How do you have it scored here as we enter the final round? Well, I gave the last round to Thomas as Bush lands a couple of good sharp combinations there. I've got him up by one point and officially 39 38 and Bush is taking the turn. Yeah, it's spinning sidekick right off the chin of Thomas and a good right left combination from Bush on the head of Thomas. Cliff Thomas is in a world of trouble right now. I think he's, he looks very tired. He doesn't look like he really has that tremendous energy we normally see from him. And Bush is in good shape. We've seen a lot of dexterity, too. We've seen jump fronts, spinning side kicks, as well as back kicks here in this round, coming from Curtis Bush. Oh, a left hand that Thomas ran right into. Thomas trying to fight his way out of the corner. He will not lose his title here, but lose a little bit of his pride. If, in fact, the decision does go to Bush, we still have time left in this fifth round. There you see it. Right up on Bush throwing a barrage of punches. I'll tell you what, if the decision happens to somehow go to Thomas in this fight, we're gonna hear some people unhappy in the crowd. <laughs> because Bush has made a terrific and very valiant fight of this five rounder. Thomas has appeared heavy-legged throughout this bout. It's Bush that's standing upright and throwing the leather as we come to the end of the round. We could have an upset of sorts here. Curtis Bush, at 23 years of age, awaits the decision with Cliff Thomas when we return. We see Cliff Thomas here coming back, taking a big, big breath of air. He must be tired. Tries to step in, big, long step. Curtis Bush takes opportunity, just lunges out there with a good left hand, a hard, hard solid shot that uh, Cliff Thomas felt all the way down to his toes. Well, an interesting decision coming up, and with it now is our ring announcer, Larry Black. And we have the decision here in the beautiful ballroom of the Weston Peachtree Plaza Hotel. It is a unanimous decision. Judge McLaughlin scores the, the fight 49-48.
Judge McTurnan scores the fight 48-47. Judge Harris scores the fight 49-47. The winner by unanimous decision, the explosive thin man, Curtis Bush. No championship for Curtis Bush, a non-title bout. But he right now is the champion of the many hearts that are here in Atlanta. Perhaps he and Jerry Trimble will square off soon. We'll return with more from Atlanta in just...